guys, so today is another English video, but before you click off, there will be subtitles in this video, and I hope you stay because this is gonna be a very special video. So I think by the title, you probably already know, but today, as you're watching this, is actually my birthday. Yay! I just turned 25 this year, and it's kind of scary to think about it because I guess it's not a young number, but it's not an old number, and I don't know. Anyways, last year I did a video on my birthday about 24 things I learned at 24 and I thought I would do one again this year to just like reflect on myself and see how much I have changed in a year. That is just interesting and I thought I would share that with you. So without further ado, enjoy! Number one, at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. You can definitely share a lot of things with your friends and family, but at the end of the day, it all comes back to you. Being able to accept who you are as an individual will be very helpful in any perspective in life because at the end of the day, you are your own boss and you will be spending the most time with yourself. Number two. You'll never be ready for something. You're never gonna be like completely ready for something because the fact that you think that would just stop you from taking the first step and taking the initiative to like really approach your goal. If you want to do something, start right now. Number three, if you cannot convince yourself to give up on something, keep going. It's completely okay to let go of something in your life because you're not gonna get 100% of what you want. At the same time, it's also very important to know that what you want to hold. If you cannot convince yourself to give out of something that you love, then just don't give up. Maybe something would happen, you never know. Number four, learn to be alone, learn to be your best friend. I have always been a person who is very outgoing. At the same time, I also really enjoy my own time. I can go travel by myself, I can go eat by myself, I can just spend the whole day with myself. You are independent enough to spend the time with yourself. Number five, you don't always need to be the best version of yourself. No one is perfect and no one is going to be 100% of their best version. It's very hard. Life is already hard. Don't make it harder. <laughs> Number six, don't be guilty of being sad. Your emotions are valid. It's completely okay to feel sad and don't feel guilty or sad about being guilty and sad. Number seven, embrace your body. As I always say, everyone is beautiful and everyone should feel beautiful themselves. Obviously, I am jealous of people who have really big eyes or like double lids and just like skinny, but this is me. I was given this body um, and I'm still beautiful and I believe you are as well. Number eight, treat yourself once in a while is totally healthy and necessary. Agree? Number nine, Take the initiative to find the answer when you're stuck in something unknown. I think I just found a lot of people, it's not that they don't know the answer, it's just they don't want to find the answer and they just expect other people to give them. I don't think that that's the correct attitude and that's probably just me, but I think that's important. Number 10, you can unsend a message online, but you cannot unsend a hurtful word in real life. I am notorious for unsending messages because I love it. I feel like every time I say something stupid or dumb, I can just like recall it and I'm good. But at the same time, it's not going to happen in real life. If you say something that's very hurtful to a person, that person will be hurt and that is irreversible. Number 11. Everything that comes into your life will either be a blessing or a lesson. Everything happens for a reason and one thing leads to another. That's just what I believe. Everything that happened to you, whether it's good or bad, it's always going to lead to something else in the future. So obviously life has a lot of like shitty things or just mess. You probably will find something a lot better in the future or you're just learning a lesson. Number 12. Don't let your mistakes get to you. Take it along as in experiences. I take my mistakes too seriously sometimes and I take it very personally. I don't think that's healthy. Don't let it get to you and just bring it along and we all need to move forward. Number 13, the best moment of all time is the present. This is very obvious and I don't think I need to give any explanation to it. Stay in the presence, guys. Nothing is one-sided, so think twice before you judge something, before you say something to people, just think twice because it might not be what it seems from the surface and you will never know what happened. Number 15, 
respect people who are different from you. When you're watching this, if you're from Taiwan, today is the election day. I feel like it's so important to respect people who are different from you. I'm not saying that being extreme is bad, it's just you have to accept that everyone's different in this world and we all hold different belief. And that's what makes the world diverse. Don't assume that people hold different opinion as you is wrong because it's just that they are different from you and you are different to them anyway. Number 16. Stay close to anything that makes you feel glad that you're alive. I have my friends, my family, my co-workers, my job kind of, my YouTube channel. I have a lovely boyfriend and that's what makes me happy that I'm alive. Number 17. Appreciate the little things in life. You will be happier. Number 18. If people don't know you personally, don't take it personally. If people don't know you, why would you care so much about them? Number 19. Respect your parents, but know that they don't decide your life. I work in kind of new media industry and this is something that my parents are not familiar with. So I don't think they completely understand what I do. You should know the best about what you're doing and you have to control your own life. Number 20, show your family some love. Call them, hug them, and spend time with them. Maybe call them every week or just hug them when you get the chance. That's like one of the most important things I learned, but it's still very, very much valid. Number 21, you don't have to say I love you to show I love you. I think the point is you love them, so you care about them, you worry about them. Number 22, Sometimes your circle decreases in size, but increases in value. I feel like this happens to most people when they graduate from college because when you're in college, you definitely have like a huge group of friends. But when you graduate though, the group will just decrease in size. And for the people who stay, at least you know that they will become some of the most important friends in your life. Number 23. Be friend with people who would make each other a better person. Surround yourself with people who give you good vibes because that's very important. A good friend or a good partner in relationship, being with this person will make you a better person and you will make this person a better person. Number 24. Try to leave your phone out when you're meeting people in person. This is something I'm still practicing because I live on the internet. I will be panicked if I don't have my internet. Don't be kidnapped by the technology. And last but not least, number 25. Do not let others define you. After all, we only live once and you are who you are and you should be the one who defined yourself. What other people say with just a suggestions and you don't need to listen to them. All right, um, so here concludes the 25 things I learned at 25. It's so crazy that I'm turning 25. I mean, I am 25 when you're watching this. I hope that everyone would uh, take some little things from this video. I'm still very much confused about what I want to do with my life. And so if you are confused, um, don't worry. I said that last year and I'm still feeling the same way. I hope you guys will enjoy today's video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to leave a happy birthday down below in the comment section because I'm the birthday girl and I am the boss today. <laughs> I wish all of you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!